So here we have two points A and B. We're given the coordinates and we're asked to find the equation of the line joining A and B. Several methods of doing this. Let's look at the first one. We'll use the formula y minus b equals m x minus a. Now when we do that, we know that point a, b is a point that lies on the line and the value m is the gradient. So let's first of all work out the gradient of the line joining a to b. And we use the y difference over the x difference. Let's just put that down. y difference over the x difference. So we look at the difference between the two y coordinates, 6 minus negative 2. And if you started with the point A, you also have to start with the point A when you're doing the x difference. So that's negative 1 minus 3. 6 minus negative 2 is the same as 6 plus 2. Minus 1 minus 3. Let's think of number lines. We're at minus 1. When we move 3 to the left, take away 3, we'll get to minus 4. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So it's 8 over negative 4 positive. Divided by negative is negative. 4 into 8 goes 2. So we've got a negative 2 gradient. Worth double checking, if you go 1 along, you should be going 2 down. That looks fair enough from this diagram. That's what a gradient of minus 2 would mean. So our gradient's minus 2, and also the point that we're going to use for AB, the point on the line, well, you choose. It could be this one or this one. Let's use negative 1, 6. A point on line is negative 1, 6. You can check. You'll get the same answer if you use the point 3, negative 2. Um, so the equation then is y minus b. And there's your point a, b there. So b would be the value 6. That's the y coordinate of the point on the line. So y minus b equals gradient m, which we've worked out as negative 2, times x minus the x coordinate of the point on the line. So that's minus 1, negative 1. So let's simplify that. y minus 6 is negative 2 times x plus 1. Take away negative 1, we're adding 1. Let's get rid of the brackets on the right. Negative 2 times x. Negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2. And let's tidy that up by adding 6 to both sides. That will disappear. When you add 6 to negative 2, you get 4. So there's the equation of the line joining A and B. Now, there is another way of doing that, um, which still involves the, the calculation of the gradient as being negative 2. So, we suppose the equation is y equals mx plus c. So, what do we know about this equation? Well, if a gradient is negative 2, we know that y will be equal to negative 2x plus c. And we know negative 1, 6 is on the line. So, let's use x being negative 1 and y being 6 and put them into that equation. So we'll get 6 is negative 2 times the x coordinate, negative 1 plus c. All this is in an attempt now to find what c is, because that's the only thing we don't know in that equation. Uh, so here we go. 6 is negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. And if we take 2 from both sides, we'll get 4 on the left. That 2 will disappear. We'll get c equals uh, 4. 
So the equation is y equals minus 2x plus 4. We've discovered that that number c is 4. And that agrees with what we had before. There is a third way we can do this. Uh, let's assume the equation is y equals mx plus c. There's two things we're trying to find, m and c. And there's two pieces of information we know. a is on the line and b is on the line. So if we use the first fact that a is on the line and substitute in the values, y is 6. We're trying to find what m is. x is negative 1. And we're trying to find what c is. So there's the first equation where m times negative 1, that's negative m plus c is equal to 6. And let's use the second fact that b is on the line for the point b, 3, negative 2. And in that case, y value is negative 2. We don't know what m is. Times x, x is 3 in this case plus c. So there's a second equation, 3m plus c is equal to negative 2. And you'll recognize simultaneous equations here. And we can subtract negative m minus 3m, that'll be negative 4m. c minus c disappear. 6 Take away negative 2, it's like 6 plus 2, that's 8. And let's divide both sides by negative 4. So m is 8 divided by negative 4, which is negative 2. And then we would substitute negative 2 back into, well, this would be the easiest one, the first equation. So negative m plus c equals 6 becomes... Now that we know m is negative 2, it becomes the negative of negative 2, that's 2, plus c equals 6. Let's take 2 from both sides, we'll get c equals 4. So we've found the values of m and c. Finally then, the equation is... Remember, we started this third method by saying, suppose the equation is y equals mx plus c. So we found m, it's negative 2, and we found the value of c, it's 4. So there's yet a third method, this one involving simultaneous equations. So you choose, maths is wonderful, Loads of different varieties. You choose the method that suits you the best.